Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Reading Peter, chapter 3, verses 3 through 7, followed by, you guessed it, Pat's Two Cents. Okay, listen. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Hmm. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the war, the world that then was being overflowed with water perished but the heavens and the earth check this out but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Now, I know that there are a lot of people out there that laugh at us. They laugh at born again Christians. Some of you who are watching my videos, who watch other people on YouTube, trying to do God's word, trying to be about our father's business, trying to win people into the kingdom of heaven. This is the problem. Because you don't see God making people drop dead on command like he did in the old, in the days of old. Because you don't see uh, diseases blasting forward with the swipe of an old dusty tree trunk a tree stick you know you, you don't see the miracles that happen in the old testament where god sent fire and burnt people up and opened the mouth of the earth and swallowed others up you don't see that you don't see the sea parting and the people traveling on dry land you don't see it so you think is this real or have you been yanking my chain all these years come on be serious get real it ain't happened yet so i don't know what all the hoobla is about well let me tell you when you see the signs of the times people pulling away from god a great falling away one of the signs of the great falling away that I see, tell me if you see the same, drag queens telling stories in elementary schools and parents being okay with it. A drag queen doing uh, a Las Vegas dance routine gyrating with a g-string and his booty hanging out jiggling in the wind like women do at the beach when they're showing their tail in front of little elementary school kids schools teaching kids how to best have anal sex hmm yeah uh when you look at people going through a crowd shooting you know there's a scripture in the bible that says because sin will abound the love of many will wax cold and you see people just taking lives like they're knocking down pins in a bowling alley oh i got a strike did you see that and they laugh about it high five about it and have a ball for the rest of the night they just took a life they just took lives and that's funny tee hee hee really love of many waxing cold there was a time when we cared about human life there was a time where 
I mean, the tears couldn't stop falling even if we killed somebody accidentally. Oh my God, I took a life. No, not now. Not now. How many can you get? Let me see. There's six of them. I bet you I can get at least three. How many you gonna get? It's a game now. And you know, this is how we get dummied down. It's a process. You look at the media. You look at the little games that they play on the internet. Bang, 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 bang. Shoot them up, shoot them up, shoot them up. Bang, 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 bang. Pow, 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 pow. Bomb, bomb, pow, 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 pow. The whole thing is nothing but guns going off. So that is what they see as a reality. And it starts to resemble, in their minds, sports. It's like going to the shooting gallery of an amusement park. Bow, ding, bow, ding, ding, bow. I'm going to get a big bear if I get 10 of them down. Oh, my good, You're talking lives. But we don't care. We hear about it on the news. Are we bothered by it? Nah, it's bad news. We don't want to hear about it. Just happy it's not happening in my in my neck of the woods. Just keep your mess over there. They're not crying to the Lord. God, save these souls. Warn them. Spare them. Have mercy. Blah, blah, blah. No, none of that's going on. None of it. Because the love of many has waxed cold. We're growing cold. This is a, a loveless society. A society that says, do what you want, with whom you want, how you want, when you want. And, I mean, whatever it is, do it. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who to sock it to. And I mean, it, it just gets crazy. Oh, you want to screw a little boy? You want to screw a little girl? She's only three years old. Her booty ought to be tight. Yeah, you want some of that? Okay, it's going to cost you. People are being sold and used like merchandise. People sacrifice. They said this one girl talked about she was a devil worshiper. You know who she wanted to sacrifice? She wished she could get away with sneaking her sister out so she could sacrifice her sister and watch her die. You get women. How many of you women listen to me, who are listening to me now? How few of you have never been molested? You men, big, strong, husky men. Yeah. Yeah, flex those muscles, mm -mm -mm -mm, however you do it. How many of you have been molested? How many of you have had your booty taken against your will? How many of you have been forced to use your mouth in ways that you never thought you would ever do? it? Because the love of many is waxing cold. When you have no love, you can do horrendous things to people. And get a kick out of it. It's funny. Fun and games. Ha ha. Ha ha. Did you see her? <laughs> oh, she cried. So I thought she was never going to stop crying. She thought that was going to stop me. No. No. You don't feel for someone's hurt. Their hurt is your entertainment. Think about where we're going, you guys. Kids. Get a kick out of making their parents miserable because the parents are afraid of the kids. They're afraid of the laws of the land. So they don't spank their kids. They don't discipline their kids. They don't rule their children. They're not in control of the house. The kids are in control. They are literally raising a zoo. And they let it be. And they, they learn to numb it out and dumb it out so that they don't have to be driven crazy any longer because they feel like 
They don't have any choices. They don't have any power. So they just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let the kids go crazy. Let it be. Why? Because if you resist the children, they will beat you down to powder. And you can't have that because you want to be their friend. One of the reasons people have bipolar. It, it, think about these things that it's go, it's crazy. It's like it's like a snowball. What you have cause, you have effect. You have cause and effect. Cause becomes the effect. The effect becomes another cause which causes another effect. And it just snowballs into a gigantic monster, a runaway train that is totally out of control, headed for nothing but destruction. And we're sitting there with our thumbs in our mouths and our other thumb up our butts wondering, what did we do? What did we do? What went wrong? Uh Uh-oh. I think we're in trouble, Martha. You think? Really, you took prayer out of schools and you think we're in trouble? No, you're kidding me. Think about it. The more God you pull out of society, the more of the godly standards that you erase, the crazier this world is going to get and the more unsafe. It will be. You will find old people in, <coughs> excuse me, convalescent homes being raped for the fun of it, having it filmed, <coughs> excuse me, so they can get a lot of hits on Facebook. You're going to see a lot of crazy things. Years ago, they used to burn slaves at the stake. They would hang them up like a piece of pork and burn them alive and stand there and watch them. That was hundreds of years ago. You think that was bad? You wait till you start watching your kids burn their friends, ganging up on them, knock down some old person and tie them up and watch them burn so they could smell the flesh. They can be fascinated while the person is screaming (coughs) where are we going you guys you got CERN you got uh, uh, you know they're trying to bring hell on earth you got Monsanto one of our YouTubers said you know they had a dream where they saw uh, this this thing this card this uh, tarot card that this that this uh, psychic threw down on the ground and the tarot cards it was a bunch of them and every one of the tarot cards you know looked like they were on fire and the words on them said hell on earth that's exactly what the agenda of the enemy is to bring hell on earth and guess what the dummies of society are opening the doors wide through CERN Monsanto through the media, the, the 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 gay movement, the pedophilia that want that they want to be able to marry twelve year olds and ten year olds because they are sick. They can't get turned on unless they're screwing a little kid, messing their minds up for life. Some of you men can't even enjoy sex with your wives. You do it out of duty because. All you think of is the disgust that you felt when someone touched you that way. Some of you women want to puke when a man wants to, you know, get it on with you. Your husband's laying next to you and you live through an eternal headache because all you can think about is what your daddy did to you, what your uncle did to you, what your brother did to you. And what their friends did, what your mama's boyfriends did to you. This world has gotten so sick. I can't imagine 
the stench that rises up to God's nostrils. Here's the sad part. This is the way we want it now, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, all you saints that agree with me, we have got to pray. Even so, Lord Jesus, come, come quickly before you end up seeing your child become victimized by hell on earth. Before you're victimized by hell on earth. God bless us. God have mercy on us. And those of you who don't care, who think it's all fun and games, whoo, I feel sorry for your end because the end is going to be fire. Not going to be a flood. This time it's going to be a fire. Thank God we won't be here for the fire. But those of you who snub your nose up at God and the things of God, the people of God, you will you're going to have hell on earth, but you're going to have hell to pay for eternity. It's not a joke. It's not a fairy tale. You may want to believe it. But those of us who have battled demons, we know hell is real. Get saved. Repent while you can. Time has already run out.